first of all this is the excel which i'm still working on i am trying to put in certain formulas i've forgotten excel so i'm i'm just trying to put in certain formulas so that you get it uh, you know nice and good excel what this excel is all about nothing much what you need to do is just write down the um, project in the organization name from date to date and write down the month so that at least you are aware before you go to the uh, website pmi.org at least you know that you have 36 months of experience with you that's it nothing else as of now don't do anything else uh, okay um, the first project recent project has to be written first in the um, pmi website but the excel start from the oldest project uh, because i just want to ensure that it should not be eight years ago and things like that it gives me an anchor point um, so and then everything has to increase no two projects should overlap what it means is uh, you guys know that you know at any point of time at PMI assumes that you are working only on one project, only eight hours. So now since hours are gone, they're calculating only month, which means at any point of time, in any month, you are working only on one project. So um, just ensure that no two dates gonna overlap. And that is the condition which I'm trying to put in here. So is this Excel okay or any questions out here? Very simple, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So let me share the other um, PMI website with you guys then. Kavita, mm -hmm. uh, how old can a project be? Not more than eight years old from the current date. Okay. Okay. Now this is the PMP application, the start page. Um, this is the first thing what you need to do is feed in your education. Um, let me, uh, you know, start feeding the, in the education here, um, write down the bachelor degree or master degree, whichever one you have, write down the years attended from and to, um, try and uh, put in the last degree, which you have attended. You don't have to feed in a whole lot of data, just the last degree, you know, masters or bachelors, given the name of the institution, the field, you know, computer business or whatever, and then click on save education simple um, once you save it would automatically give a green color here saying this is verified now the second thing which you need to do is i'm just gonna remove the, this form anyways just so that you know the second thing is education hours the hours which you need to provide that you have studied uh, the pm box concept so what you need to do here is write down pass PMP in 21 days. Uh, that was the course title. Who provided that? Kavita Sharma. Write that down. And your duration dates were from June today, uh, 2020. And we are ending in June. So June um, 2020. Qualifying hours, right? 35 PDUs. Okay. And you're going to download the 35 PDU uh, certificate from PMP online course. So that you're going to get. So this um, suffices the two parts of it, the uh, formal education and the project management education part of it. Now we Sorry, Kavita, I didn't get, uh, you said uh, you were going to download the certificate. Right. Who is this, please? Pallavi. Pallavi, your name is changed. Um, so you can download the PMP um, 35, 35 PDU certificate from the website, um, the PMP online. I'm going to give you a URL from where you can download the certificate. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay now this is the experience, um, project experience. They have simplified it, as you rightly said. Um, instead of writing hours and writing you know, 20% um, hours or 10 hours in initiating and then some hours in planning, all that has gone, which is nice. So um, what, what we need to do is write down the project title. Let's say um, my project title was PAR. Write down whatever project title you were using. So, and the organization where you did it was TechM. This is the first project, you know, recent project you need to start off with. What was your job, job title at this point of time? 
um, so the job title was um, E2E manager. Whatever was your job title or is your job title, please write that. Um, the reporting, the which area are you working in? Human resources, marketing operations, write down that. For me, it was IT or IS. You guys can write down the one which applies to you. Um, where exactly, so, so your organization, what is the primary focus? What do you do? Do you work in healthcare, IT, uh, telecom? So this is primarily the domain. Write down the domain of your organization, the product on which you are working on. Um, so Tech Mahindra was telecom domain, so I'm just writing that down. For you, it could be construction or um, for, um, I think, Gurdish, it could be hotel industry. So you select the one which works for you, okay? Um, now this project, we're gonna be talking about the current project, the project which you have mentioned here. The project has which methodology? So was it waterfall? Waterfall meaning you had um, planning, then construction, then testing, and then rollout. Was it agile or was it hybrid? Some of, some of the project would have hybrid method as well. Um, for example, BMW um, goes with um, waterfall model, except for the one which is the development of the current standard. So there are different standards on which they need to conform to, um, specifically for the energy uh, consumption. So the engine, et cetera, gets tuned to the ongoing uh, standard. So they kind of look at only um, fine tuning that engine, testing of that engine as the agile method. So then it constitutes as hybrid kind of a model wherein you are using both the, um, both the methodologies and typically all of you most of the time you you guys use both the methodologies um, so select hybrid um, as such or you you know whatever you feel you are comfortable with select traditional which is waterfall um, most time 90 percent of time i think hybrid gonna apply anything is fine whatever you choose so nobody is judging you nobody is evaluating you okay Select the team size. Uh, what team size have you worked with? Um, so it was 20 or more. If you want to tell it to PMI, that's fine. If you do not want to disclose, you can click on classified. You don't want to dis disclose this information. So um, for me, team size is not a problem. But when I talk about budget, I don't want to tell it to PMI. So I might select classified in case you just want to um, you know, tell it to uh, PMI, you can select any of these uh, values. Suggestion from my side, just sel select classified. Saves a whole lot of effort to find out the budget, etc., and so on. Now, this is the project start date. Um, they have gone away from the day of the project start. So it is month and year. What you need to do is this is the one which is the recent project you know most recent so start off with the most recent say i started off you know may last year 2019 and here you may need to go back to the excel which i kind of um, which you should have been preparing earlier and then select the one which is the last entry of the excel so select that and then um, it's going on so far so just say this project is going on as such now the project description is something which is really, really important. And this project description has uh, now moved to, previously it used to be maximum 500 characters. Now it has been changed in the current format from 200 minimum to 500 words, which means the, um, there is a whole lot of, um, there is a whole lot of uh, description which you need to give. Um, so I've created a template for you here. Let me show you the template. I'm just going to share the template with you. Um, yes. Can you see the word document on your screen? Yes. Uh, yes. 
okay now this is the template what um, these are just the um, you know i'm just giving you some kind of directions here so nothing don't worry this is the actual template for the project now in case you have three project you're going to write three pages like this in case you have one project just write one page so one page for each project so write down the project name the first project saying that this is the project spar um, and then what is the project all about so project this project was to create b2b portal to enable customer to sell services to its client so all about the project i think this information you write in your resume also so just copy and paste whatever you write about that project in your resume out here okay simple so far simple Sir, or, i have one doubt yeah uh, so if you're working let's say in a, a consulting firm kind of thing mm -hmm. where you know at once you're managing uh, more than one project at any point of time so right. what we do in in that situation? select the one which which you really want to talk about only that project you cannot select multiple project in a month uh, it has to be only one project okay 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 any other question no any other person so we need to mention the name of the brand we are working on you in case you don't want to mention the brand that's fine you just have to give a generalized uh, description of the project see i have not mentioned my customer name here mm. so okay. um it is just to tell that i have a customer and i'm doing this work for the customer in case you want to tell the name of the brand that's up to you but my suggestion do not okay don't, don't uh, tell who so let's want. say uh, i'll just take one example so uh, let's say i'm working with one of the brands so i can write just a project name as brand activation or something like that brand activation for a specific client you know a customer in fashion healthcare whatever okay okay got okay it. at least give some information okay okay fine okay um for example i've given um, something uh, the project to sell services to its client base and then i have kind of written you know patrol and loops and things like that so i've i've written that so at least give that sense that what is the project all about and what are the products you are dealing with which domain was the project in so write that here okay um, then you need to write down my role in that project so um, you can change the language in case you want to but um, just say as a project manager and then it becomes really generic for all of you guys if you have been a module leader or a project manager what do you do i planned and estimated for project schedule i uh, also estimated for resource requirement i also looked at what is quality requirement uh, any performance bottleneck and the requirement from the customer i also did stakeholder management so essentially what i'm writing here is all the knowledge area work which you have done so i planned and controlled i planned and controlled i planned and controlled a procurement in case you want to mention procurements and ensure that you talk about uh, team morale so you ensured giving training to the team etc etc because you know you you do some work in executing as well so if i look at this sentence i said i planned and estimated for schedule so planning is covered out here total resource requirement risk on the project so touch upon all those things and you do it in your project one of the key task was creating the weekly project dashboard and presenting monthly updates to the senior management so look at that this is this has taken one full line because this is very uh, this is one of the key task which a project manager does i also manage the key touch points with the customer or i also i was also responsible for um escalation uh, with the customers and users so whatever you would want to say here please ensure that you write the role uh, typically it becomes very generic i have provided you this template just uh, change as per your um, you know your project a certain certain work which you do add that or certain work which you uh, don't do just remove that 
um, so I plan I plan to give it this to you guys. Any question on the my role uh, as a paragraph? Any question on that? Hi, uh, this is Inka. Yeah, Inka. Yeah, I've, I've got a question because uh, I've, I've kind of failed uh, the template you sent. Uh, but two, two of the main projects that I did for a long time uh, were, were secured projects for, for the government. And I kind of struggle in terms of how I'm going to outline the work I've done. So how, what advice will you, will you kind of give when writing just? such such role um so this is uh, yinka just try and write it and send it to me i will write whatever you feel you need okay. to write and then we'll uh, i'll look at your particular experience and description and i'll make changes if required okay. um, i okay. cannot give a generic statement because your role would be slightly different than whatever is written here so i'll make changes if required and uh, we'll take it from there yeah i've sent it to you already but i've not filled the last one my current project so i, I didn't know that you could put in in progress so so ends i, I didn't fill out I, I yeah. that, but okay, okay. Sure, okay. you you did send it to me sometimes back yes. because I I don't... yeah I sent it I sent it this this just this afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah. My apologies that I've not been attending. I've been very busy with my project. Seriously, I've no. really been very busy. Yes, please. No problem. Uh, so even even today I wasn't feeling fine, so I stayed back at home. That was okay. why I was able to kind of attend the, this afternoon's call. Thank you for attending and take care of yourself. Thank you. Okay, um, fill it in this format, okay? Because okay. now the um, previously, as I said before, the requirement for the project experience was only 500 characters, which was very short uh, project experience. And now it has been changed to 200 words to 500 words, which means a bigger project experience, something like this, you know, one page project experience. So please use this template uh, instead of the Excel so that um, you write more things um, that is required by the PMI. Same format. Okay. Okay, so write down about your role. Um, then comes the delivery schedule. Um, this is where PMI wants servers. PMI has said, you know, I really want what was the project all about and what were project outcomes. Um, schedule, delivery schedule is kind of project outcomes. Um, so what was the outcome? You can write, for example, let's go through this and then you can formalize the project outcomes which you have achieved. I ensured that project is delivered on time in phases. Okay, so I also talked about that it, it, the project was released in phases. The first phase was implementing the security module to enable the right people to see right orders. We delivered B2B ordering system for aer aerospace first and then for the loops module. We had to replan and accommodate few changes and hence the project schedule baseline changed. The rest of the module um, of retail and LPG were rolled out later as per the plan. Um, so just say this is what I've done. So you can talk about all the milestones which you have achieved um, or all the phases rollout which you have done. Talked about what, how did you deliver the project in phases uh, or iteratively and then was um, maybe you want to summarize it saying that you know project was within budget or it was uh, delayed whatever was the outcome so write it like that any question on the delivery schedule or the project outcome okay so at the end what you need to do is you need to talk about um, that we really need to mention whether the project was successfully closed or not. Um, so at the end, we were able to deliver all the modules to the customer. The portal was made live after extensive training to the customer base. The training manual code base was transferred to the customer. What I'm talking about is that we have done a formal closing of the project. Then the customer satisfaction survey, again, I'm talking closing of the project. 
and employee satisfaction survey for the team was above organization benchmark. So you want to mention that you formally closed the project, everything was received well and things like that. So just um, ensure that you, or in case it was prematurely closed, just mention that due to, for example, if I talk about another project, which was um, at this lot project with Tech Mahindra, we had to close the project because the customer has revoked at this lot licenses. So then you say, you know, we had to close, pre-close the project because of the government um, license uh, revoke of with the customer. So what we did was we ensured that we closed everything in the system and we gave all the document which applies as per the contract to the customer and we closed it. Um, so that's how you need to write the final outcomes. Questions? We can keep the same skeleton for all the projects. Yeah, use the similar um, similar format. So just copy and paste okay. to the next one. Uh, try and change few lines. Obviously, you're gonna change the project about the project. Your role, in case you are um, you 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 started off with the project lead, you probably would have different um different role different set of people um and you would be doing lesser tasks uh, more into execution and less into control in case you are a program manager more of the work would be you know monitor and control escalation point etc and less on planning so just change the role to accommodate those changes because over a period of 36 months you might have certain changes in your role itself there may be instances when one project would suffice the 36 man, man months. So um, then it is just one project or just two projects. My suggestion would be write two or three, maximum four projects to accommodate 36. Um, do not write more than 36 uh, man months because if you try and write all your project experience for people like, you know, um, most of you are in that. Um, Era that you can write more, more than 36 requirement, 36 man month experience. Not required, just fulfill the eligibility criteria. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'll just share the entire screen so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna select this control C and I'll go to the window and I'll click on this control V. Um, so the, see, this is only 261 words so far. What else I would suggest you whenever you write about the project and everything, go to another uh, place called Grammarly. I have seen most of the people made, um, Grammarly is a free website which offers, um, I, I'm sure you guys know that, um, which offers, um, you know, spell check, grammar check, and things like that. Um, so, so let's say new, um, and then uh, just type, and then select your audience goal. How do you want to do it? Um, normally, whatever is selected is fine. So just done, and then. Um, it just gives you any changes which you need to do, commas, full stop, all of that. Make changes and then put it on the um, put it on your um, PM experience. Okay, um, so do that. And before you send it for my review, please ensure that you check it in Grammarly or any other spell check, grammar check sort of stuff. Click on save experience. Um, now it gives me six, 14 out of 36 months. Okay, so you need to add another experience. Click on add another experience. Now from the Excel which we have created, select the next project. So we started off from the recent one, select the next one, MSP implementation, um, select that and then write down all the other stuff which I told you again click on the save experience and automatically when the 36 months gonna come, you can click on um, submit. 
um, that's it. It does not ask anything more than that. It has become really simple. Questions? Should I do it for you right now so that? I've noticed uh, Kavita has also gone away with the, you know, your uh, supervisor details and your his email address and the phone number. Correct, correct. Everything is. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. So you said that to, uh, to mention only uh, 36 months. Uh, so should in that 36 months should we include the recent one? Is it uh, necessary or? Anything from the last eight years which suffice 36 months is fine. So we can choose to not include the recent one also? Yeah. That's fine. In case you don't want to talk about your last two years of experience and you want to talk about the third last third year, that's fine. You begin with the previous third year. That's fine. No problem at all. Okay. Anything else? Are Kavita, we good? Uh, yeah. So, sorry. Uh, yeah. In that, can you go to that word document? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if I want to add my, you know, better management ex uh, duties, so that I can put it in. Yes. My yes. Role. Yes. Ha. Huh, yeah. Please do and put it under my role here. Okay. Okay, anything oh. else? Any question on the experience? I'm gonna save this discussion as the video and put it for people to see it. So all your questions gonna go in the video for people to hear because I think I'm sure all the other people would want, would have these kind of questions in their mind. So in case you have any other question, good time to ask. And uh, also, how many uh, i mean can we have gaps between two projects yes you can you can the only thing is do not um, have project which are overlapping in nature so one project should stop and then the new project should start do not start at the same time so if you are stopping you know um, from last year you did a project january to december you should not start the new project from november last year till today so there should not be any, any overlap. So next project should be from January today's, you know, 2020 till today. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, good. So I hope all the questions on the application is answered and I move to 